Hey, everybody! Christianaris does acting is where you found yourself. <laughs> Big mistake. I am the very professional Christianaris. Uh, yeah! So this series is my Instagram original art content from artists with their original characters and I make silly voices for those original characters so this week's kind of funny um this week I keep doing that stop it so this is Monday and then I'll have another one for Friday so this Monday is at Maru Moons it's around here somewhere uh Maru Moons I thought because I've been following Maru Moons since like I started this whole thing I thought I asked Mario Moons forever ago, like, hey, can I use your art? Apparently, I just, like, assumed and never did it. Um, so, yeah, this is w took way too long. But it's kind of perfect because Maru has put up amazing art in the, in the meantime. Now, that wasn't amazing before. Um, make that clear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, there's new characters that weren't out before that I couldn't have done, and now they're out. Does that make sense? I'll just, I'll wait. You you let me know. Does that make sense? So yeah, um, let's get started. I want to start with Hudson because oh gosh, oh no, things. Uh, Hudson is very different. I haven't had the chance. So as we all know, tieflings drow even like half drow that's the and don't you worry i've got tieflings and half drow uh, at least drow coming up don't even worry but we're gonna start with a beefcake half orc okay his name is hudson and i have a little bit of description description um let's see here uh he's a total sweetheart youngest of two sons uh, sons of their orc clan's chief. Total and complete sweetheart. He loves when people play with his hair. Certain people, kind of socially awkward, tends to get shy around big groups. He got his scar when training with his brother and a few others. He loves animals very much. Yeah, let's see here. Um, so yeah, he's, he's an orc. He's a big boy. Big old chest, big old shoulders, big old jaw, just big, 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 big. So obviously, his voice is low. Actually, you know what? Because I'm going to get loud. I'm going to turn my microphone down just a tad. Yeah, because he's, I feel like he's got a big booming voice. He's probably, like, when he talks, he's almost yelling the entire time. He doesn't mean to be intimidating, it's just that orcish nature. Hi, my name's Hudson. Why are you hiding from me? Come on out, it's fine. Would you like to play with my hair? The only ones who understand me are the squirrels and the birds. That voice is a little rough to do. Um, turn my gain back up on my mic. Conversely, he could be a bit quieter. Um, still, still deep. Hmm. Yeah, the name's Hudson. Yeah, I know. I'm intimidating. It's fine, you can stare. I'm used to it. I've got tusks. I've got scars. Hey, hands off the hair. I don't know you well enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I work out three times a day. Who doesn't? I'm a big beefcake. Yes, you are, Hudson. Rawr. Next up is uh let's go with the polar opposite of i'm going to screw up this name 
a non K. It's not going to be a Nanki. Uh, a non K. So I was told uh, smooth voice, tiefling bard, as we can see very plainly in this picture. Um, charming, kind, kind of flamboyant Russian accent. So uh, if you have watched my previous videos, I tried a Eastern European Transylvania-esque charming accent once before. And you would think, uh, because I didn't do that well, I would have practiced. I haven't. So let's try this again. So, Russian. And, uh, my name is... Whoa, that was bad. My name, my name. I'm going Cockney. I don't mean to. See, when I want to... Here's the thing. When I want to do Russian, I want to go deep. My name. Ooh, that even still sounds cockney. This is bad. Edit all of this out. Russian. Moy name. Moy. Oil. Oil. Moy. There we go. Moy. Moy name is a non -ke. Russian. A Russian man. Russian men have a particular way of speaking particular way of speaking so it is hard let's try to make him flamboyant it is hard because he's going to he's going to sound italian it gets me every time i need to practice practice the Russian sound while making it flamboyant. My na my mm, my name is Ananke. I have my issues, just like anyone else. Wow, Russian, Russian, Russian. That's hard. Marumoons, why are you doing this to me? I thought we were friends. Oi, get angry. It happens. But the past is the past, eh? For now, I've got myself this new crystal violin. It is nice. It is nice. I can't tell you much about it. It is new. Uh, crystallized violin. In the future, I will tell you more of the backstory of the trials I went through to get this violin. I keep wanting to go deep with it. It is hard to keep it uh, flowing and light. 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 Moy. Oil. I need to practice my Russian. I need to do that. That's a thing I'm going to do. Next character. Next. Yeah. No. I need to practice my, my Russian. 100%. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. All right, well, that's what this is for. Figuring out what I need to do. Russian, next accent on my list. Uh, now let's go to a drow. Leo! Um, Leo! Leo! Says that he's a bit of a B word. We don't use rough language here, Morrow Moons. Ugh. But not really, but really. Um, I like this picture of, of Leo a lot. Um, hold on, let me, let me go back and actually look at what the descriptor was for Leo. Smooth and deep in his voice. Oh, he's very sarcastic. Excuse me. Very sarcastic, also quiet. Very intelligent, calm, and collected. 
traumatized, but we won't talk about that. Loves to read and loves the rain. Has insomnia, so he's always tired. Has a really good singing voice. Deep and smooth, always tired. Always tired. Hmm. So. Hmm. My name is Leo. Insomnia. I can't relate to that. I. I sleep perfectly well. <laughs> I don't. I barely sleep. Hmm. In this picture, it says. He usually doesn't let things get to him. Pissing me off takes a lot of effort, but when I'm genuinely enraged, <laughs> well, I can be terrifying. I just might rip someone's throat out, drop it, and walk away without saying a word. But, that's only a hypothetical. Right now, I'm fine. Just never cross me. I like that. That's fun. He, he's like, he's a good guy, but he can be a villain. Like, he has a villainous kind of aura. Like, that character in a show where... I'm trying to think. All I can think of is Vincent from Final Fantasy VII, but basically everybody from Final Fantasy VII, Cloud, all of them, just like they're quiet, and then when they do have something to say, it's just not very nice. It's very, like, kind of sassy. No, I like that. That's fun. That's a, that's, see, if this was a show, I'd want to play this character. Or the villain, the next drow, another blue drow. I love blue drow. drow. Blue tiefling. I love blue tiefling. My tiefling is blue, one that I made for D&D. So this is Taro, the main villain. Interesting character to say the least. He is in no way a good guy. He's not power hungry, but strives for power due to the belief that anyone more powerful than him will hurt him. And he cannot allow that. His belief started after his mother passed away. Huh. Oh. And it talks about abuse. That's very sad. For many years, he's tucked it up and dealt with it. Until he was old enough to rule his own region. He actually was a kind ruler. But anger and resentment started to take over his mind. Until he fully snapped and became the tyrant he is now. Hmm. 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 Interesting. So the personal description I got for his voice was British accent, maybe? Very calm and educated sounding? Uh, soothing voice. Uh, manipulative. Likes to be alone. Likes seafood and jellyfish. That'll, that, that'll come in handy. Thank you. Um... Okay, so he's just had jellyfish. Seafood. So let's get that in my mind. I actually don't... I want to know who he has here wrapped up. Mm, floor. Flore? I've seen that name, so obviously this is a main character. But yes. So he's posh, possibly British. But you could go for more of like a um, classic black and white type of accent. They call it the Atlantic, I believe. Hmm. Smooth. Not over the top. I could go for British, but I don't know. He doesn't really seem to be quite that. I mean, he could. Easily. Easily. 
Very well dressed, obviously. Well coiffed. I'd even imagine that he keeps his horns nice and buffed. Nice and clean. My dear, if you don't do what I say, well, that's your choice. <laughs> of course, I would have to burn the village to the ground. So, their lives are in your hands. I'm simply giving you a choice. I kicked my desk. If you want nothing to befall the, the, the peasantry, well, then you should do as I ask. All right, all right. I love villains so much. I love just like the, the variety, ugh. I love villains. It's really silly how much I love villains. Probably just because, like, I'm such a nice guy. Like, oh my gosh. Let's make sure everything's still recording. That's still recording. That's still recording. Yay! I'm just such a nice and lovely person. In fact, I'm so nice and lovely that I'm going to thank Mara Moons again. Thank you, Mara Moons, for the descriptions and for the art and for everything you do and just for being lovely. You're lovely. Um... I'm so lovely, you should visit my website, krishnaris.com. You should follow me on Instagram, Krishnaris Does Acting. You should follow me on Facebook, Krishnaris Does Acting. How easy is that? Follow me on Twitter, Christian Does Act. Less letters for your convenience. That's all for you. All for you. Um, I'm also so lovely that I run D&D games. For a price. I'm not that lovely. It, I do charge a little bit. Uh, try to get some money flowing in, uh, as well as my voice acting. Um, but yeah, I do regular games. I do mentoring for both newbies and experienced people who want to become DMs. So yeah, you can find all that info on my website. Message me. Let me know if you're interested. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody. Bye. -o.